Yes, and the once hesitant movie star is making a big comeback as you probably already know. He's gonna be the next Batman. I'm vengeance. Despite his Hollywood success, he's tried to stay low-key, which could explain why his current home is pretty modest. Although back around the Kristen Stewart days, the actor resided in an iconic Los Feliz mansion and a stunning property in Bel Air, some may say his current Hollywood house is a downgrade. But Robert likes his villa-style residence just fine. We'll take a look at some of the properties Robert's called home. We even found the listings. Robert Pattinson is an English actor who began his journey acting in a London theatre club at the young age of 15. Fellow Harry Potter fans will no doubt remember his big break in the film when he was cast as Cedric in Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Now I'm probably the only chick ever that wasn't a Twilight fan. I know, shame on me. But my opinion is irrelevant because the book and movie series was like the most famous thing back then. It was inescapable. And as you know, Robert starred as the lead in the Twilight films as none other than Edward Cullen. The five movie installations came out during 2008 to 2012 and earned a combined massive total of $3.3 billion worldwide. Not to mention it brought Robert worldwide fame and established him among the highest paid actors in the world. Thanks to playing Edward Cullen and also for having a whirlwind and dramatic relationship with his co-star Kristen Stewart, Robert was definitely the center of a ton of media attention, whether he wanted to be in the public eye or not. Despite starring in romantic dramas and being offered big budget film roles, Robert has often preferred starring in more independent productions. This is one reason his role in Batman is also a big deal. It seems like the man likes staying out of the immediate Hollywood circle and likes his privacy. When you guys see his house, you might agree that Robert is on the more modest side. Either way, Robert's current estimated net worth is at at least 100 million, so if he really wanted to, he could afford way more than his home that's worth only a couple million. Hey guys and girls, it's Kara, and in honor of Robert Pattinson being the new Batman, today we're gonna be covering his house tour here for you on Famous Entertainment. We'll look at his current villa in Hollywood he's lived since 2014, but also a couple of his previous properties which are more extravagant, just so you can compare. If you like these videos, make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell to be notified when we post so you can always be up to date. We've also done house tours in the likes of Miley Cyrus and Julia Roberts and we'll link to some at the end. Follow me on Instagram to chat and as usual let me know whose house tour is next in those comments down below. Now let's get into this video. In 2011, when Robert and Kristen Stewart were still a thing, the ultimate gift for any Twilight fan came on the market. The ex-couple's former Bel Air home. Located in a private neighborhood on an even more private plateau, there was the house, overlooking Stone Canyon Reservoir. It's one of only two west-facing properties that overlook this body of water, and let me tell you, it makes for some gorgeous views. This house sits on half an acre of land and is completely secure and gated. There's a main house spanning 2,604 square feet and a separate guest house spanning 1,440 square feet. The retreat was built in the 90s but had recent renovations and updates for modern times. From the entryway, steps lead up to a spacious living and dining area with high wood ceilings and hardwood floors. The main level also has a contemporary kitchen, media room, and a powder room. Directly outside the great room, there's a large terrace for entertaining and barbecuing, a pool and spa, and a gazebo to sunset watch from. On the lower level, you'll find the master suite where I'm sure once upon a time Rob and Kristen shared. There were views over the reservoir and French doors out to the lawn. Nearby, there were two guest bedrooms, a bathroom, and a laundry room. This separate guest house has an open living area with full kitchen and office. A spiral staircase leads to a loft bedroom upstairs. The grounds were surrounded by greenery and amazing views over the water and canyons, and it was only minutes to Beverly Hills. It was last listed for about six million, and I'm sure Robert enjoyed his time living here. Before Rob moved to the spot he's at now, his previous home was actually a famous Hollywood pad, also dubbed a celeb pedigreed home, considering its list of past residents. In 2014, it was reported that Rob sold the home to none other than Big Bang star Jim Parsons for over 6.3 million. Rob resided here for a few years, purchasing the home for 6.2 million, and then quietly floated off the property a while before selling the place to Mr. Parsons. The home is located in Los Feliz and was actually one of the first homes built in the rolling hills of this neighborhood, meaning it's been around almost 100 years. It occupies a 1.43 acre, fully gated estate below the beautiful Griffith Park, and the home is also known in some circles as the Sailor House. 
Mr. Pattinson and Parsons are only some of the more recent in a long string of high-profile owners of the home, and others include the likes of Oscar-winning cinematographer Noah Wiley, director Robert Lukatic, and actor Tim Curry, who's apparently the one responsible for putting together the jaw-dropping gardens here. This sailor house is a Spanish-style estate by architect Styles O. Clements, who also designed the El Capitan Theatre in Hollywood, and inside it spans 4,026 square feet with three beds and 3.5 baths. A checkerboard floor greets visitors at the entryway and staircase to the upper level. The grandly scaled property features preserved details in the architecture with modern updates throughout. The downstairs common spaces have high, hand-painted ceilings with preserved original beams. The wraparound eating kitchen has been updated and offers custom green cabinets, a large center island, a TV, and stainless steel appliances. All rooms here are bright and open onto the rear patio or outdoor living room, and the kitchen opens to its own dining terrace. There's also a glamorous den or media room, a card room, and guest room with new private bath on the main level. Upstairs is the master suite with French doors on either side, an ensuite bath and super spacious walk-in closet dressing room, as well as a balcony overlooking the terrace and hills. A second suite also occupies the upper floor with a renovated bathroom. On the grounds, this villa has some of the most impressive gardens I've ever seen at the home. And like I mentioned, reportedly Tim Curry is the resident who put in the work to create this unique landscaping. The high maintenance gardens climb onto the hillside behind the house, and elsewhere there's a lagoon-style swimming pool and an amphitheater. Also amongst the gardens is a fountain and a koi pond. So although Robert's home is more low-key than the sailor house and doesn't have gardens as impressive, it does follow a similar vibe. His current residence is also a Spanish-style villa with lush landscaping. It looks like the actor has a specific taste when it comes to his homes. In 2014, Rob bought this place in the Hollywood Hills. It's in a secluded, celeb-filled pocket of Hollywood, set privately behind another house down a long, charming red brick driveway. We could say this home signified the end of two important eras for Rob, Twilight and Kristen Stewart. He indeed wanted a change and decided to move from the home he once shared with her, buying this private house in the hills. Certainly more low-key. This single-level Hacienda style home is all about simplicity and natural beauty, and he paid about $2.17 million for it. Inside, it spans a humble 1,940 square feet with two beds and two baths, just cozy enough for the actor. This single-level home was built in 1958 and of course updated since, offering rustic terracotta tile floors throughout the main living spaces and switching to wood floors in the bedrooms. The interconnected main areas of Rob's home include a reasonably roomy living room with French doors to the yard and a double-sided fireplace leading to the kitchen and dining area. The combo kitchen and dining room offers skylights and high vaulted ceilings, as well as high-end stainless steel appliances, not to mention a cast iron range worth a whopping 14K. Both bedrooms here have custom built-in wardrobes and direct access to outdoor living and lounging areas, and both bathrooms have arched combination shower tubs. Outside, Rob's property seems super serene and secluded. A brick patio wraps around the residence and leads to the private tree-shaded yard with flat lawn, swimming pool, and views of the canyon. There's a hammock on the patio for relaxation and elsewhere a separate and secluded spa with room for two. Courtyard areas around the side and back of the home and there are more hedges and trees around for privacy. Although the home may seem humble for an actor worth over a hundred million, it seems like Rob loves the place just fine, as he's been living there for some years now. Alright, so that's all I got for Robert Pattinson aka the new Batman and his properties. We took a look at his previous Bel Air home, the famous sailor house he used to occupy in Los Feliz, and his current Hollywood spots. After seeing his homes, what did you guys think? Did you have a favorite? I think mine was the Los Feliz house. I mean, those gardens were something else. I'd love to show them off and take a dip in that amazing pool. As usual, let me know in the comments as well as what other celebrity house tours you want to see next on this channel. I also just launched a personal channel and I'm doing some at-home videos, so if you guys want to get to know me better, be sure to like and subscribe. I'll be replying to all my comments over there, and we'll link you my first vlog. Thanks for tuning in, follow me on Instagram to chat, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!